Make a wish. Oh boy. Hang on, is this time? This seems to be the time effect, slightly. Or is it just like dawn? Did she not go to sleep? I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. <laughs> How dare you. I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you think Deckard is a replicant? Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. <laughs> were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the <laughs> company I keep. <laughs> Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck, um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine Yikes. injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. <laughs> but you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Bibbidi boop. Time to go. Uh, this insurance is worthless. Yikes. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max. I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. Oh. I know. You look exactly the same. I. <laughs> it's so I haven't cool. seen you in so long. I've been too busy being right. dead in another universe. Me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Uh, hmm, 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 Chloe. I don't know how to say this, but... Mind. I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. You are also alive, so I'm going to say that I'm glad you're she here. She is amazing. I'm so glad you're here to help her. And be her father. I'm so glad Joyce is here to help us both. Max, I just hate to think of what would happen to Chloe if I wasn't here. Yeah. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. <laughs> uh, okay, that's one through. Being around <laughs> you and Joyce again is so... Nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Or is it? Well, crazy weather. I was going to point out the end of the world. What's going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus type shit, pardon my French. But all I actually care about now is Chloe is and Joyce. My family. Uh, Rachel Amber? I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber? Oh, yes, yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. And Prescott. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question. Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. Oh, Joyce is not at the two whales. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. Jesus. The insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. His bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. 
But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. <laughs> you act like it's the last time. <laughs> and please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. Oh, two texts from Victoria. Come by my room tonight. Max, are we cool? Just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. If you want to talk, hit me up, Kay. Love you. Max, you're mad. Just tell me, Kay. Silence. So if you want to talk, my door is open. Love you. <laughs> oh, man. Is she nice? Or something? She used an emoji! Thank goodness. Oh god. Hello Max, this is William. If you want to contact Chloe, you can use this number. She would love to hear from you. See you soon, I hope. Bye. Hey Chloe, Maxine here. I know it's been a while, I just wanted to let you know I'm going to Blackwell Academy now. I hope this is still your no uh, number. Oh Jesus. <laughs> Didn't contact. Max is back! Blackwell, that is so awesome, you rule. Best of all, we can hang again. So yes, this is still my number. Oh god, but a little homework, we'll get together soon. Don't tease me, it's been too long. I know, I'll see you soon. Ah, uh, making excuses. That's cringy and uncomfortable. Alyssa. Hey Max, it's a shame that you, has to hang, uh, that you hang out with those people. I thought you were different. Lisi, I saw you throw that TP at me. OMG, I was so not aiming at you, I swear. Don't do it again. <laughs> this is so weird. This is surreal. Well, maybe. Whoa. What's all this then? Happy birthday, Maxine. Maxine, this is your mom. You need to talk about some of your bills. Are you there? Yes, give me some time to answer. I can't just text every class. Some teachers get super in people are pissed when people use their phone. Yes, because it's super rude. Please don't be so snippy. Sorry, long day of homework. You're not the only one. That's why we're wondering if you need to spend so much. We want you to have everything you need, but your scholarship doesn't cover everything. You said I could use your credit card for any easy I only brought film, not a camera. Maybe it's time to go digital. Maybe it is, Max. Maybe it is. I'll call you later, right? Don't parents love you. Hey honey, I didn't, didn't forget to wash the plants. <sighs> Taylor! Max, thanks again for talking and uh, taking me to see my mom. I think she wants you for a daughter instead of me. I think not. Your mom's a badass, like you. Yeah, right. I cried like a bitch. So did I. You just didn't see me. It's okay to cry. It gets old. Stupid phone's about to die, so call me back. Everything is so sad all the time. Have a right Check your account. Don't blow it all at once. Nathan? Yo, yo, Max, you were around into the dark room developing. Whoops. Developing shirts for the contest. Sweet. So, no two was for you. Not yet. I'll see you guys later, though. Peace out. So weird. Is Nathan like a nicer person or something? Or is Max just the sort of person who hangs out with a literal rapist? Like, even if he isn't necessarily a literal, rap literal rapist, is, is it just because, like, the opportunity hasn't arisen? I have so many questions about this alternate universe that I'm sure will be explained sooner or later, but I want answers now! This is quite cool! <laughs> this is the sort of shit I'm here for. So this is Chloe's... Almost uh, original universe room, and it's very bare. The symbolism. Oh look, that's the Rachel Lambert pattern. I never heard much about William's brother. Hi, Bills, and sorry for not taking, staying in touch since the accident. Work has been piling up and been since Salt Lake City. So we're seeing a parking lot. You have to go where the work is these days. I wish I could have sent you a bigger check, but you know the story. And money is nobody's favorite thing. Maybe I'll see you next spring for a business kiss Chloe enjoys for me. Hang in there, Bailey. Okay. Let's sit on the spool table. Thank goodness this is a video game, otherwise I would be super wasting time. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. Yeah. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive. And I see that they're a family again. And who am I to judge? Yeah, that's the way, that's actually the way I feel. You 
briefly I disagree with Max's internal thoughts, but jeez. Help me decide, ghost dear. Help me decide. Where's the fucking morphine? Oh, the ironing. I guess we stopped growing up together. <sighs> Get it. Ah, yes, this is where I was hiding. Get it? Anyway, I'm gonna blow this. So, can I kiss this universe version of Chloe? Because if you think that just because she's still a new, in a wheelchair, she's not cute, then you are incorrect. Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Hello. Let's talk to Joyce. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. <laughs> I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Let's talk about I wish I was a better Chloe. Friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Oh. Uh, Chloe. I hope so. I don't know. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. We can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Mm -hmm. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... She... Do you know what I'm saying? Oh, Joyce. I'm so sorry. She's not one for this honest. world. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. Uh, let's talk about you. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult. But nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Arcadia Bay isn't that much of a shit, uh, shit place, apart from the whole apocalypse. Also, <laughs> eco havoc. I'm, I'm what so happy with this. What's going on here with all this eco havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except. Now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. You seem very so casual about, should like, four beach whales. A lot of work. Uh, I'm gonna ask about David Madsen. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two whales. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. Amazing. You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Amazing that you got away with that. That was too easy. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. And we're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Uh, but now I'm friends with I have Nathan. I tell you how much I love seeing you and William <coughs> together again. He's been such a hero through all this. Chloe and I, lucky to have him. You are? Well, I don't know if lucky is the word. William's still the same. I don't know. Chloe and William. Chloe and William seem like they still get along so good. Yeah, those two are closer now more than ever. Chloe That's good. Actually listen well, they're certainly closer now than they were previously. He ignores me. Oh, it's so cute when I'm grown up on oral me. You rule, Joyce. Shit. Things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I better get back to Chloe now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Jim Jam. One second. Oh, look, I got a Snapchat from Tanya Cody. I wonder what it says. I'm going to send her a Snapchat of the game. You can't really see from here, but yep. Boom! That'll amuse her.